So I thought I'd talk a bit about a true crime case in regards to this movie called Shadow of Fear. It's based on a young woman named Alyssa. She works at a local restaurant and she becomes fixated upon by one of her regular customers. He asks for her phone number um, many times and she finally gives him her personal email and she begins to get a ton of crazy weird messages. He ends up calling her on her phone, leaving her these distressing messages on her voicemail and just all around bothering her, stalking her, following her to her car when her shift finished up. And this just went on and on for a while. She was recently married to her high school sweetheart and she finally just couldn't take couldn't take it anymore. She left her job at the restaurant and got a new job at a call center and it wasn't long until she asked for an order of protection which was denied. She was she was in the parking lot of her job at the call center when her stalker showed up and shot her and her her new husband showed up on the scene. He tried to help Alyssa and was performing CPR over the phone with 911 but it was too late and she died right there on the scene and her stalker ended up shooting himself with the gun and killed himself and Alyssa was only 23 years old she tried to she tried to go through the right channels she tried to get an order of protection. She changed her job. She changed her routines. And she tried to do everything right. And it just wasn't enough, sadly. Her stalker took her life and his own life. And it's just one of those cases that just resonated with me for some reason. I'm not sure why, maybe because she was just a regular young woman just trying to work and earn some money. Maybe it was because she was recently married to her high school sweetheart and just the manner in which she was murdered was just very haunting and sad. And when I watched the movie Shadows of Fear on Lifetime, um... Like, I figured it was loosely based on her case right away. The movie has a different ending. It has a happy ending where her stalker is arrested and she has a happy ending and gets to live her life. But this is real life. And in real life, you don't always get a happy ending. So... And that's it. I just wanted to talk about this true case a bit and about the movie Shadows of Fear. And it just resonated with me. And it's just one of those really sad, tragic cases. You really feel for her husband, for her family and friends. She seems like a, a nice, sweet person. And just to be stalked like that and to be taken from this world in such an awful, terrifying way, it really makes you think. So that's it. Um, I just wanted to talk about this case a little bit. Um, 
And in no way am I blaming her or her husband because they both tried to do the best they could. They went through the proper channels. She changed her job. She tried to get an order of protection. But, you know, sadly, it just wasn't enough. So that's it. I just wanted to talk about this for a few minutes. And, you know, and maybe it will save someone else from stalking or just to look into what stalking is in this day and age, you know, just for some food for thought. So that's it. I'm going to wrap this up. You know, thanks for listening and thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.